How's it going there guys, Mr. Benji and welcome back to episode number 3 of the how to make a multiplayer game in using MLAPI. So in this video what we're going to do is we're going to give each character their own camera. So basically they don't have to use like the one big static camera that was in the second episode. So basically what we're going to end up with is a camera that you can rotate up and down and then zoom in and zoom out. And it's going to have like a capacity on it as well so you can't actually go as far. So yeah, let's go into the video. Right guys, just a quick disclaimer before anybody starts having a go. This script I'm about to share with you wasn't originally mine. I must have got it about two or three years ago on Unity Answers. And I've been using it ever since because one, it does the trick. Two, it's a good Orbit script. Three, there's no point in me rewriting a script that a million people have done before because there's just no point. And four... I ain't really got time to be coding out a full orbit script off my head and then recording it and showing you guys because then the video would be 20 to 30 minutes long and I just don't got that time at the minute. So what I'm going to do is I will put this script in the description below as a media file link. There'll be no ads in that. You can just go click it, download it. It will be my iteration of the script though because the one I got it from is a tad different. But this script works for MLAPI and networking and stuff like that. But the original script just works for single player. I'll put the thread to the original link to the original mouse orbit script in the description below. Because again, I'm not taking any anything away from the guy that originally did it. I don't want any... I don't want any... Uh, what's it called? What's the word? I don't want any praise for you saying I've done it when I've only edited it to make it work with you know the game we're making so I mean yeah links will be in the description go download it then you can just follow along with how to actually set it up because one it's going to make the tutorial 10 times quicker two it means you don't have to watch a 20 minute tutorial of me actually coding it and then you know a couple of errors here and there and then you get stuck you can just download the script it's as easy as that done 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 and dusted so what we're going to need to do first is in the hierarchy i'm pretty sure you'll have a main camera delete it we don't need that anymore because each player is going to have their own main camera then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the player prefab and then we're going to create a camera within the player prefab if you don't know how to do that right click and then it says there camera that's all you don't need to do what else other than the script you've just downloaded drag it onto the main camera you don't need to set anything else up. I'm pretty sure your X and Y speed will be at 120. I think that's the default I set it to. But for all intents and purposes, you don't actually have to set anything. So that's that. That's cool. That's pretty much it. All we need to do is we need to go to we need to go to our player controller script that we did last. Was it last episode? Or was it episode before? I don't know, but in a previous episode, we created this little movement script. Basically, what you want to do is, in your update function, you want to make it so the cam, basically the main camera, or the, the player controller getting the camera itself, is set as the child. So, basically, what you want to say is, you want to say, game object dot get component in child, and then you want to get the camera. It's as easy as that. So, basically, what's happening is... The, so the player controller is on the parent game object which is the player so the player wants to get the child which is the camera or one of the childs which you can specifically say camera so you don't have to say child one or child two you can just say camera and it'll automatically look through your children go for camera and then Whoever loads into the game, it will get their camera, not say the client gets the host camera or vice versa. It will just get their camera. It's as easy as that. So there is that. Then what we need to do is we need to set it so that every other main, like every other camera within the game that's not ours is disabled because we don't want to be able to control other people's cameras and you don't want anyone... And, 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 I don't know what happened there. You don't want anyone else to control yours. So what we're going to do is we're going to put if is not local is not local player. So is not local player. Then we're going to put cam.gameobject.setActive. 
equaling to false. So basically all this does is it tells the game, like the actual game you're running, if you are the local player, your camera's going to be a able to be equal true. If someone else is in the game, so say the host is in the game as well, it's going to disable the host's camera on your game, but not the host's game. So vice versa, if you are the host and you're playing on the host game, the host is going to disable the client's camera on the host's game but not on the client's game so everyone's everyone's camera is going to remain on for themselves but for everyone else on everyone else's computer it's going to equal false so you're not going to be able to mess around with other people's cameras and they're not going to be able to mess around with yours it's as simple as that so if we go into the game now and we click play and click host you'll see we can zoom out as far as that I don't want to be zooming out as far as that why is that so far let's go see because it's set to 36.51 we don't want that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back into my player camera and I'm going to set that to 15 that should be 15 I don't know why it's set to that I'm guessing I've changed that by accident so host and then boom I'm locked at 15 and I'm also locked at 5 on the distance, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to build a game quickly. So we're both in the game now and as you can see, I'm moving around and I can rotate my camera. And if I go to the host, I'm moving around and I can rotate that camera. So there you go, guys. That is literally, it is that simple to be able to use... A camera within the game so now everyone else and whoever actually comes into your game has their own camera you know need there's no need for a main camera anymore it's just your camera you can do as you wish now you can literally run away from the player and look at whatever you want to look at now because you have your own camera you don't have to share anymore no more sharing you can just use your own off the pops so yeah guys that's been it for this again jankiness of a tutorial but again i think we like that i think we like the jankiness just because it it complements my personality but yeah again links will be in the description to one the thread where i got the original orbit camera script from which was about three years ago if you if you're mad about that and you're like oh you've nicked it mate everybody nicks code it's a part of coding life whether you're an experienced coder or a novice coder everyone uses everyone else's code and again what's point in me spending 20 to 30 minutes when i've just done it in 10 minutes you get what i'm saying you've just learned how to put a camera in a game in sub 15 minutes i am wasting 20 to 30 to 40 minutes 45 minutes coding my own script for nothing don't fix something that's not broken and this orbit script is not broken I'm going to get a comment saying the script's broken and I know it, but if you do actually get the broken script and it's broken, then do leave a comment and I'll tell you how to fix it because I don't know why it would be broken because you're literally just ripping it from my game itself. So yeah, links will be in the description below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you've got any comments, anything you want me to do, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. I've been very, very busy these past couple of weeks. That's why the this tutorial hasn't come out but here we are there you are it's done it's here we're all happy now so yeah guys i'll be mr veggie thank you very much for watching if you've liked the video don't forget to hit the like button and until the next video have a good day